Hello everyone, it's Dan again, and in this video, we'll be doing the initial setup for an Office 365. Um, we have verified ownership of the domain already, so this is another video for that. But in this one, we'll be setting up the MX records, the CNAME records, and the TXT records. A lot of these, um, I don't know if you've looked over the Google videos, um, Google does that for you, and you don't have to do all this for Google either. So there might be some discrepancy, but why don't we jump in and start with the first record, the MX record, as we can see here. Normally you would think you would go to this drop down menu, but in fact, through Namecheap, you do it as a custom MX mail setting. Before you could see we had Gmail in there. Now we'll replace it with the value given to us in Office 365. Here we can compare. The at again just means your domain, so in my case, mailshaketutorial.com. Remember, TTL stands for time to life. Uh, it can be measured in minutes, seconds, or hours. The next step would be CNAME records, as we just saw. Again, very straightforward. Let's copy the values given to us. Start with the host name. record host let's get the actual value copy that notice the TTL is one hour as well so we do 60 minutes and we save up next is the SPF DNS record setup that's the next one so we can either highlight it and copy it or we can click the little copy button that they give us and notice again TTL is one hour. You see there's certain values up there that are not relevant to Office. What we're doing here is we're replacing the Google values that we had before with the Office ones. At the end of the video here, I'll show you how to clear them if that is if it applies to you. If not, you can just disregard this part. But once I'm done deleting these records, this is what your DNS text record should look like. Even the URL redirect one, you can skip that. There's another video about it. Here, we can just click continue and this is what you'll see. 